Copy Parallel. In this section, you will begin the layout of the proposed site plan by utilizing the Copy Parallel tool to construct curb lines and parking stalls. You can use this tool when you want to move or copy an element or portion of an element parallel to the original. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn Offset to create parking lot features Copy elements Draw lines that represent parking stalls Continuing in the proposed site plan DGM file, ensure that the active level is set to curb. Next, make the copy parallel tool active and then set the following options in the tool settings window. For the method, element. For the mode, miter. In the distance field, type in 12. Enable Use active attributes and make copy. Next, we're going to construct some curb lines. So now that the tool is set, identify the vertical center line to the left of the building pad. Then offset this to the right. Issue a reset. Repeat by identifying the horizontal center line below the building pad and then offset it in the upward direction. Reset when complete. So now we're going to continue constructing the curb lines. Change the distance to 30. Offset the same vertical center line, this time to the left. Issue a reset. And now offset the horizontal center line downward. Reset when complete. Next, you will create parking stalls for the proposed building. You will be using the Smart Line tool, and then from there, you will use the Copy and Copy Parallel tools to create the remainder of the site features. First, change the active level to PM Stripe 6W via the Level Picker. Hint a quick way to select a level from the list is to type in at least part of the level name in the search field. Now, you're going to create the first parking stall. Make the Smart Line tool active. Next, snap to the midpoint of the building pad along the left side. Issue a data point to place the first vertex. Then, using the perpendicular snap, snap to the vertical curb line you just created. Issue another data point. And then, reset to complete. Now that we created the first parking stall, we're going to create the second parking stall. Snap to the midpoint along the bottom of the building pad. Issue a data point. Then, like before, perpendicular snap to the horizontal curb line you just created. Issue another data point. And then reset to complete. Make the copy parallel tool active and then set the following options in the tool settings window. For the method, element. For the distance, 9.0. Enable, use active attributes, and make copy. Now, we're going to offset lines to create a parking bay west of the building pad. Begin by identifying the first parking stall that you created, that is the horizontal line along the left side of the building pad. Now bring your cursor in the downward direction. Issue a data point eight times. Reset to complete. Now we're going to finish the parking bay that is west of the building pad. Switch the active level so that it is set to curb. Identify the last line that you offset. Now move in a downward direction and then issue a data point. Next, we're going to offset lines to create a parking bay that is south of the building pad. Disable the option Use Active Attributes. 
Next, identify the second parking stall that you initially created, that is the vertical line along the bottom of the building pad. Now, move your cursor in the leftward direction. Issue a data point three times, and then reset to complete. And now we're going to finish the parking bay that is south of the building pad. In the Copy Parallel Tool Settings window, enable the option Use Active Attributes. Identify the last line that you offset, pull in a leftward direction, issue a data point, and then reset to complete. During this lesson, you learn to offset to create parking lot features, copy elements, draw lines that represent parking stalls, If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.